Hello, welcome to this short video that will describe the process of creating an export file of your Moodle content so that it can be imported into Canvas to begin setting up your courses in the Canvas structure. Now, as a quick reminder, not everything will export properly from Moodle into Canvas. There are certain uh, questions, quiz questions, and certain file formats that will not convert exactly the way that you want them to. There will be times where you will probably need to just start from scratch to create some of your content in Canvas. But it is a, a pretty good process in getting most of your content over. First thing you'll need to do is start out the CD Schools website and click on the Moodle link. Once in Moodle, you'll need to log in with your credentials. And once you're logged in, navigate to your courses in Moodle and find a course that you would like to export. You'll need to export each course separately. If for this example, I'm going to choose the Introduction to Tech Ed course. And you'll notice once you're in Moodle, you'll have all of your topics arranged. Um, I have mine arranged as units for each thing with all of the content within them. There are uploaded files, there are some quizzes, there are some assignments in here. What you'll need to do right now is go to the administrative panel on the left hand side in Moodle and click on the backup option under administrative tools. When you click on backup, it'll start the multi-step process in backing up your content. What you need to first do is see what you want to export. So you'll notice that some things are checked by default and those will probably be sufficient for most cases. But double check anyways to make sure everything is being checked that needs to be checked. Do not, I repeat, do not check the common cartridge 1.1 button. Do not check that. Check all your other content, scroll down to the bottom of the page, hit the blue next button. On the next page, it's going to confirm everything that's going to be exported from this course into the backup file. So go down through, check everything. You'll notice that user data is turned off by default. You do not want to export any user data with this file, only the content of the course. So scroll down through, check all of your, your units and all of your content, make sure everything is checked the way that it needs to be checked. Hit the next button at the bottom of that page. What you'll see up here at the top is you'll see a name for a file, and it's going to be a really, really long name. You may want to shorten that up, but there's one important thing that needs to stay on this title. You need to make sure that .mbz stays on the end of the title. If you delete it off, just type it back in as a .mbz to make sure we get an export file. I'm just going to call this one Intro to Tech Ed. So it's easier for me to find it and know what I'm looking at. And again, make sure you keep the .mbz on the end of the file so it knows what to create. Again, go down to the bottom of the page, make sure everything is confirmed again the way that it's supposed to be, and hit Perform Backup. And what Moodle is going to do right now is it's going to create that backup file. It's going to crunch all of your content down into one file. So depending on how much content you have up there, this may take a few minutes to create the backup file. The course that I selected is not very detailed, so it wouldn't take too long to create it. And it says, good, the backup file was successfully created. Hit the Continue button, and it will take you to a page saying Import Backup, which may seem confusing. Scroll down this page to get to the User Private Backup area, and you should see the file name of the class that you've uh, just created. For the download button, if I create, click on download, it'll just download it into the download folder of your browser. So I'm going to right click on it and hit save link as so I can choose where this file will be saved. For my example, I'm just going to save it straight to the desktop, confirm the name, make sure the .mbz is on the end of it, and hit save. And that's it in Moodle. So now you've created a backup file and saved it to your desktop. Before I exit Moodle, I'm going to confirm that it's really there. Okay, and right there it is on my desktop. Okay, I'll open up my browser again. Now I'm going to go back into CD Schools and under Quick Links, I'm going to go into the Canvas course. So when you enter Canvas, it'll once again ask you for your district credentials, type those in, and then it'll take you to your dashboard. Now you have to decide which course are you going to import that content into. You probably want to choose a class that has nothing in it right now. Uh, and everybody has had created for them a, a course sandbox, which is a place where you can put some content. Or what you could do is you could go to the list of all courses on the side and hit all courses and choose a class that may be from past years. 
Um, you never lose any of your classes in Canvas. Uh, they will always just continue to back up in here, so nothing is ever lost. You can put them in a blank class you've never used before, and then when the new school year starts, you can just copy all of that new content into a new course, and it'll all be set up for you. So you can work on any course you want to, save your content into it, set up your entire class, and then just roll that content into the new courses for next year very easily. So what I'm gonna do right now is just go back to my dashboard, and I'm gonna use this sandbox course that administration has set up for us. Again, if you have multiple courses, you may want to choose a different class. Okay, so now that I'm in this class, the class is unpublished. Um, just so that things look a little nicer, I'm gonna hit the publish button so the course is actually published. And I need to go down to my left-hand course navigation down to the settings option. When I click on settings, you'll get into some options for the course itself. Right now I'm interested in the tools going down the right hand side and I'm interested in this button here called import content into this course. Click it and it's going to ask you what do you want to import into this class. Select your content type. If I click down here you'll see that there is actually an option in here for Moodle 1.9 slash 2.x. That's the option that we want to choose. Moodle 1.9 2.x. It's going to ask you to select your file so this is where I will browse out to my desktop and I'll select that file. So let's see, right here it is, intro to TechEd.mbz. Click that, open it up. And it's going to say, where do you want to put your question banks for your quiz? I would just leave it at the default question bank. And what content do you want to bring in? I would say bring all content in, but you could choose specific content and choose what you'd like to bring into it. It's easier to spring in all content and then just start to delete things you don't want anymore. So we'll click on all content. You can try to have it adjust due dates uh, for the upcoming year. Um, I just would leave it go for now and fix those due dates a little later on, but you could try that out. And then hit the import button. And what Canvas will do is it'll start to import that file and try to figure out where everything needs to dovetail into all these different sections of Canvas. And again, depending on the size of the file, it may take a little longer to bring it in. What Canvas is going to do with your main topics, every place you would probably have a unit, is it's actually going to create a module of all of the items that are in each of those topics, much like the way that they looked in Moodle. It will also create a blank web page for each topic that you've created, so in case you decide that you want to use a web page format within Canvas for your content, um, then they'll be there, there'll be blank pages that you'll be able to set up. Assignments will try to find their way into the assignments folder, and all of your files will end up in this file folder for the class. Um, quizzes will end up in the quizzes folder and you have to make sure that you're not trying to bring in more than five gigabytes worth of content into canvas each class has a, an allotment of five gigabytes okay so there the importers finally coming in I'm gonna start to see the status bar starting to move as it comes up um, if you have simple questions in your quizzes they will probably work out pretty well, true, false, multiple choice, matching, because those type of questions uh, seem to dovetail very well with Moodle into Canvas. Where you have more elaborate or unusual type of question formats, they may not come in correctly. Now, you're going to see something here that says issues, two issues within this setting. So you're probably going to have a couple of errors in here where something might not have come in correctly. Um, let's just see what we have right now. So if I go into modules, we should see, okay, there would be, you know, again, Unit 1. It brought all of the content in to, from Moodle into Canvas. And here would be Unit 2, Unit 3, and again, the different activities. Here's a safety quiz. Okay, if I click on that, it should take me to that quiz. And again, you'll have to check the quiz and make sure that everything comes in okay. One thing that's going to have to happen is kids won't be able to see something if it's not published. If I go into the quiz list, you'll see all of the quizzes that came over from Moodle. It kept the titles correct and you can see it has the questions in there. You would just need to publish them. If you want to edit one or check it to see if it worked, you could click on one of these quizzes. Um, and you have an option to preview it. You can edit it. 
when you edit a quiz within can within canvas um, here would be the class the details question numbers here would be the questions themselves if you want to edit one of your questions you can click on the little edit pencil you can change the question type up here again double check everything you know it, it seems like it did a pretty good job with quizzes let's go in and look at assignments now this class that I chose didn't have a whole lot of assignments listed in here um, but it looks like they came in okay you can click on them and there may not be a lot of description okay you might have to go in and clean things up a little bit if I go to the files tab here are all the files all of the PDFs and documents and images and everything that were related to the class came in okay and if I go to web pages um, you'll see that a web page was created for each of your main topics again I'm not sure where all of this came from but it's in there um, but if I click on one of these units there really won't be any content on the page it's now ready for you to edit and put into this whatever you want to and again you don't have to use web pages if you like the layout of, of Moodle where everything was just one big long list going down the screen maybe you just want to point kids to the directions of modules so it's not a perfect process but it works pretty well they've done a pretty good job of making sure the importer knows where things should go one other thing with canvas really quick if you go into um, either the home page or into settings again for the course you can share all of your information to the common area what the commons are is a place where you can either keep your stuff private or share it with other people within the school district or even just people in the entire canvas community um, if you're not comfortable with sharing any of your activities what you can do is you can just not check any of these boxes and it will just keep it private to you and what you can do is you can basically um, just basically share out this entire class to the commons to be able to access it later it will ask you to tag an image to it so there's a graphic representation of this course um, and what's another nice thing about canvas is if I go back to my course content again and go home you can actually import stuff from the commons and a lot of people have shared content quizzes and assignments then maybe you can find something that could work within your class and you would be able to use it so that's really about it it's a pretty straightforward process it's not too difficult I just hope that it works well for you and most of your content comes over and makes this a smooth transition as possible thank you very much have a good day